welcome to another episode of Biologic Science News. Today I bring you exciting news of a breakthrough study from researchers in both Indiana and the United Kingdom, published in the journal Nature. They used a method called cryo-electron microscopy, or cryo-EM, to look at samples of brain tissue from a deceased person who was known to have suffered from Alzheimer's disease. With this imaging technique, the researchers were able to see the structure of the protein in three-dimensional detail. Alzheimer's disease is caused by a buildup of amyloid plaques in the brain, which tangle and ensnare the axons and dendritic projections of the neurons, turning functional brain tissue into a big, tangled, scarred-up mess. There are two major proteins that build up in these clumps, called amyloid beta proteins and tau filament proteins. The researchers were able to identify tau filaments and use the cryo-EM method to create high-resolution images of the protein structure, of the literal three-dimensional shape of its chemical structure. This research achievement is remarkable because it gives us a very intimate view of the tau filament, the closest we've ever had of it. And now researchers can study its shape and identify places that can be targeted by pharmacological agents. Rosa Sancho is the head of the research at Alzheimer's Research UK, and she said something that summarizes the point quite succinctly. I quote, Drugs that could clear away clumps of protein in the brain are a key goal for researchers, but to directly affect these proteins, molecules that make up a drug need to latch on and bind to their surface. Knowing the precise shape of these complex protein structures is enormously valuable in guiding the development of targeted drugs. Unquote. Essentially, this breakthrough imaging research has opened the door for scientists to make drugs targeting the tau filaments. These protein filaments are present in healthy brains, where they serve a structural purpose, but they can become defective and impotent, their structure collapsing and then accumulating in tangled piles. These piles disrupt healthy neurons, so knowing how to target the tau filaments to destroy or remove them before an amyloid plaque forms in the first place becomes really important. Tau filaments are involved in other kinds of brain diseases and forms of neurodegeneration besides Alzheimer's, so understanding how to handle the tau filaments on a chemical level makes it much easier to find potential treatments and cures for the diseases. This news is being treated with great significance, as it really does create a whole new avenue for pharmacological research and for potential medicines. The results of the research are being described as groundbreaking, as perhaps one of the major discoveries in the last 25 to 30 years of research into Alzheimer's disease. Naturally, new drugs will always have to be designed, fabricated, and run through clinical trials, but at least we have a light in the dark as to where to start. The full understanding of the tau filament on a chemical level will give researchers a huge boost in their efforts to find drug treatments, acting much like a spotlight or beacon in the darkness that tells us where to look and where to focus our attention. Any drug that comes about as a result of this research discovery will have to go through years of rigorous testing, if not decades. But at least now, we know where to look.